In order for robotic systems to transform our lives, they'll soon have to interact with other agents. They may have to interact with other humans or other robotic systems around them. But to succeed in these interactions, robots must be able to infer and learn the intentions and objectives of other agents. The common approach towards objective inference is through the framework of inverse reinforcement learning, where the assumption is that we try to learn from executions of a task by an expert, such as a human, and collect the trajectories of how to accomplish the task, and under the assumption that the agent is noisily optimizing a cost function, we try to learn the underlying cost function. And this is normally achieved through the framework of maximum entropy optimality, where the assumption is that the expert has a policy pie such that the probability of taking that action in a particular state is proportional to the exponential of the negative cost associated with that state and action pair. However, these works assume that we are learning from an agent in isolation. And so the objective function that they recover may not actually be appropriate for interactive tasks when an agent has to interact with other agents. And to learn accurate cost functions for these interactive tasks, we propose that we need to account for agents in their interdependencies in the cost learning phase. And we propose that we can learn more accurate objectives of agents for interactions by trying to learn their objectives from demonstrations of their multi-agent interactions. We do this in a game theoretical setup where we assume that every agent is a dynamical system and every agent is trying to minimize its own cost, but agents' costs are interrelated and agents cannot optimize their cost functions in isolation. And our cost inference problem really becomes an instance of an inverse dynamic game problem where we try to learn and recover agents' cost functions such that the demonstrated trajectories become equilibria under the learned cost parameters. However, one challenge still remains, and that is the fact that we need to account for noise that is inherent in our interaction demonstrations. And the natural question to ask is, how can we quantify noise in multi-agent interactions? How can we develop a noisy version of equilibrium concepts such as Nash equilibria? We do this through a framework that we introduce and the notion of equilibrium that we call entropic cost equilibrium in dynamic games. We define the notion of a Q function for each agent in a multi-agent domain. And then we assume that every agent can compute the expected value of its Q function with respect to the policies of all the other agents. And then at equilibrium, the probability of taking action by each agent is proportional to the exponential of the negative expected cost that is associated with that state and particular action of the agent. Note that this has to hold for every agent i, so it's a fixed point. And in fact, it turns out that this notion of noisy Nash equilibrium is an extension of the maximum entropy optimality framework to multiple interacting agents. We showed that for a given game, these entropic cost equilibria are in fact the feedback Nash equilibria of an auxiliary game in which every agent is not only minimizing its own cost, but also uh, the agent is trying to maximize the entropy of its policy. And using this connection, we can show that if our game has linear dynamics and quadratic cost functions, the resulting entropic cost equilibria can be found in closed form. This notion of entropic cost equilibria enables us to reason about agents' rationality in their interactions. If we allow a weight parameter on the entropy term, we can show that as the beta of i for every agent increases, the agent's level of rationality decreases and the amount of noise in the trajectories of the agents increases.
So now that we have a notion of noisy Nash equilibria, we can define and solve our inverse dynamic game through the following. We assume that the running cost of every agent is a weighted sum of a number of features, and we try to learn these weight parameters such that the expectation of these features phi i's under the demonstrations of trajectories are roughly the same as expectations of these features under entropic cost equilibria of the learned cost weights. And we show through our verification and simulation studies with the real world uh, traffic data sets that in fact, we managed to learn more accurate objectives of the agents by trying to learn from demonstrations of their multi-agent interactions rather than learning from agents in isolation. So with that, I would like to thank you all for your attention.